uh, we haven't experienced how interview goes in the Kolkata consulate. So take us through it. The interview uh, was of uh, four minutes only. Oh, great. Four minute <laughs> interview. That four was way minutes, too yeah. easy. Way too so easy. I must say the documentation part is very important. If your document is very uh, like clarify everything, you don't need to worry. So I just uh, like went with Euro Dreams and they helped me a lot. You know, whenever I call them, whenever I ask for help, they help me a lot. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, we have Saika today who recently received his visa for study in Italy and he's going to share his entire journey with us with, uh, his, with, uh, with the procedure and everything related to his journey and he'll also going to share how he received his visa. So listen to him carefully. Uh, Saika, please introduce yourself to our audience. Okay, so my name is Saika Datta, I'm from Kolkata, India. So I just did my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering in 2020. After that, I worked in two MNCs. So I have a thought that time also that I should go for master studies in abroad. So I am connected with Eurodim since 2019. So I just applied uh, one year ago and yeah, I got my visa. Uh, how how come you connected with them since uh, 2019 and what was the story? At first, I texted uh, Dipanshu, Dipanshu Chauhan. Yeah. And he suggest he only suggested me to connect with Euro Dreams and yeah. Great. After that, everything happened in flow. Great. Finally, you received your visa. So how is the feeling? Mm -hmm. Are you starting? Yeah, I have my visa with me. Should I show yeah. you? <laughs> Definitely, you can show that. Yeah, yeah, just a moment. So, this is my visa. We can surely can see. see the happiness. <laughs> <laughs> no student does yes. that, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm very excited to go. <laughs> so, my dream is gonna complete it, you know, after reaching there. <laughs> Till that time, I am very worried. How will I go? What will be the journey? Yeah. Okay, uh, so I could take us through the complete procedure, the entire one year journey you have gone through. Uh, take us through that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our audience want to know. So I uh, like I registered with Euro Dreams in 2021, uh, maybe in October or November. So yeah, I wanted to go for automobile engineering, but I didn't get. Uh, acceptance in that field so I got selected in casino in mechanical engineering master study so I just went for that so after that uh, after application process there is a pre-enrollment process and after the scholarship I got a scholarship also of uh, 7081 euro which is last year disco scholarship yeah wow. and I applied for visa and I received the visa after get after uh, giving interview i must say so that time i thought that uh, uh, interview not gonna happen <laughs> but after one month i just came to know that yeah interview is going to happen <laughs> and i have to give the interview uh every student have the same thoughts before receiving the mm -hmm. visa yeah stories uh, all similar yeah all similar Okay, so what led you to choose Italy as a place to study, not other countries? Have you uh, went for other countries as well, other country search as well? Tell us about Yes, yes. So I searched uh, uh, about Germany, master's degree in Germany. And I searched about Australia and Canada also. But those courses are very expensive. So after looking uh, on my uh, financial uh, st uh, like financial condition, I just went for Italy. All right. Uh, and hmm. what like your courses you're going for? Mechanical engineering, masters in mechanical engineering. In the University of Casino. Casino and Southern Lazio. Okay. Uh, so what factors did you consider before selecting this degree, uh, this course? Uh, tell mm -hmm. us about that tell us a bit about this the main factor is i did btech in mechanical engineering so the first preference is mechanical engineering only and i yeah 
I also wanted to pursue automobile engineering, but I didn't get acceptance. So I just went for it. How did you prepare yourself in terms of documentation? Share your approach with our audience. So in this case, Eurodreams helped me a lot. Uh, they sent me lots of uh, references. So after getting that, I made my SOP and LOR. The uh, and purpose of study. Any and for uh, I must say for DOV and my decision, I have to like I have to travel all around the country, you know, <laughs> because I did my bachelor's from another university, uh, another uh, state, you know, Lucknow University. So I have to, I had to go to there also. That is the story. Lots of struggle at there. And for DOV, I had to go to Delhi. Mm-hmm. Your consulate was the Kolkata one, right? Was Kolkata one, but uh, I did my bachelor's from Lucknow University, so that's why my DOV was registered by uh, Delhi Embassy. All right, all right. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, like uh, we haven't experienced how interview goes in the Kolkata consulate, so take us through it. The, your what? Uh, how was though your interview it was, process? Yeah. Though it was very easy and the interviewer was very friendly, but I was very worried about that, that what kind of question will be asked. on. Uh, so, yeah, they just asked the general question like name, date of birth and for which course you were going, in which university you were going and why you chose Italy and who is, uh, like, who is uh, funding you that's all. That's way too easy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, very easy. <laughs> and what he does, who is funding you. Like my, uh, in my case, uh, my father is funding me. So she asked me that what he does. The interview was of uh, four minutes only. Oh, great. Four minute <laughs> interview. That four was minutes, way too yeah. easy. Way too so easy. I must say the documentation part is very important. If your document is very, uh, like, clarify everything, you don't need to worry. Okay, and how far a consultancy helps uh, in keeping the document very fair, very clear? Consultancy, you mean uh, Eurodreams, right? Not only Eurodreams, like, if any if any of the students want uh-huh. reference from this video and they want to get into mm-hmm get in touch with any country yeah yeah the process was very tough process was very tough and uh, we are uh, just uh at that time i was working in uh, like in a company so i had no time to uh, give the uh, like sufficient time to this so i just uh, like went with euro dreams and they helped me a lot you know whenever i call them whenever i ask for help they help me a lot <laughs> that's why i am wearing this t-shirt also today Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so before interview, what are the uh-huh. crucial factor you wanted to highlight that one should consider before going for an interview? You have to be very honest in your questions. <laughs> like what kind of question would be asked? You have to answer very honestly, and you have to uh, clarify everything. Like uh, where you will stay, right? In which country you are going? For which reason you were going, like, will you be coming back after your course or not? They ask for that also. So this is the crucial part, I think. Uh, okay, cycle our audience, uh, like to our audience, as you are an experienced person, what advice you would give to the students who are willing to pursue their career for the studies in abroad and especially in Italy? So my suggestion is like uh, apply and you can achieve your dream. Don't worry about the visa you'll be getting. If the documents are very perfect and clear, uh, you'll be getting it. And yeah, go uh, go for your dream. And uh, I recommend Euro Dreams to be connected with you. That is my suggestion because they help me a lot in terms of every aspect of this journey. Great. 
that was really a great interview cycle with you and it was great having you thank you for uh, giving your references giving your reviews uh, and sharing your experience with our audience thank you so much thank you so much it is my pleasure thanks talking to you bye all right have a good day